Uh, no thanks, I've already eaten and I don't want to be full in any other way. New merch just dropped, get it in the link in the description below. Because it is a fire. I don't know what language they're speaking, but I think they agree. I have a pop quiz for you guys since you've been watching my content for quite some time. Write it in the comments below. Is this a lesbian? Without a show of a doubt, it is a trans transphobic comment. It's dog whistling um, at the finest, you know? It's, it's a shame. What about this person? The correct answer is no. Thank you for tuning in. I've said it before, but I do think some trans women can socially be lesbians if they pass and live their lives as a woman. But of course, technically none of these trans women could biologically be lesbians. And as it turns out, nobody is surprised here. It is the male lesbians, the male lesbians, who are speaking for us, kicking us out of our own spaces, and making us look like a f joke. More commentary on that trans lesbian song in just a bit with a trans woman friend of mine, Tori. Wait till the end of the video. Do you happen to know any lesbian that would talk very openly about their genital surgery about their, or about their genitals at all in the middle of Disneyland with kids around? Because I don't. <laughs> That's where we're about to get banned from Disney. Last summer, I got my cake pops removed and the plan up until recently was to get my marshmallow wand reconfigured into a marshmallow tunnel. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago, I noticed some hair regrowth on my marshmallow wand. That's bad because the outside of the wand is what becomes the inside of the tunnel. So you don't want hair growing there. I know this person used code words, but here's my issue. Why would you even feel the need to speak about this at Disneyland? Surrounded by kids, feeling like a kid, nostalgia. It just feels like a very male thing to do. Think about it. Who are the majority of people at pride parades wearing basically nothing? Males. What about the ones who tend to dance provocatively in front of children? Males. The ones who masturbate in public? <laughs> Males. Not lesbians, not women. I found this article recently and I want to share it with you. While the L may kick off the LGBT parade, in recent years it has become inexplicably fraught. So for those of you who have never attended uh, an LGBT pride parade, the lesbians usually, if not always, lead the parade. Usually dykes on, like dykes on bikes or there's, there's some kind of lesbian for some reason. I don't know why. As our understanding and rejection of the constructs around gender continue to become richer and more complex and the TERFs <laughs> they would probably call me, they would call me a turf. Some corners of our community have begun looking sideways at the proud L's, but is that fair? Certainly the G's aren't facing the same scrutiny. In times like these, self-reflection is required, but the question is, is being a lesbian innately problematic? The answer is no. Again, thanks for tuning in. Video could have been ended like two times already. The advocate who is a is or a used to be a prominent LGBT, but is now definitely a queer publication, wrote this article saying, reclaiming lesbian why the label isn't problematic and the TERFs can't have it. It sounds great, but just wait. Here's the person who wrote the article, by the way. Lovely. They seem lovely. The two authors, one is an actual lesbian and one is a trans woman that identifies as a lesbian. Tracy, who is the actual lesbian, said, lesbian is a sexual identity, a political and historical identity. No, it's not. And a sensibility. Okay, I guess. Simply, it means that I love and have loved women. It's not to say that I couldn't love someone whose identity is more expansive, but the word for me is couched in a lifelong love and reverence for women. I disagree. I don't think I could ever be attracted to or love someone that was not female and woman presenting. A trans woman said, for me, being a lesbian means I'm a woman who loves other women. I don't need it to be much more complicated than that. I have to point this out because the fact that Tracy, who's an actual lesbian, is so afraid to simply say that she's only attracted to females who are women, who present as women is hilarious and sad. And like, really? Like needing to say that lesbian is a political identity? No, it is not. And the fact that the trans woman just said, I'm a woman who dates other women. Mm. We know where this is going. I haven't seen anyone put this into perspective quite like Jenny did, so I wanna read this tweet to you. Jenny said, let's put it differently. Men identifying as lesbians are deemed real lesbians, while actual lesbians are not considered genuine lesbians unless they engage in sexual encounters with men identifying as lesbians. What a nice reversal in perspective. We call that homophobia. Back to the article, it says, some people argue that the word lesbian has been co-opted by TERFs and other exclusionary and hateful groups. What do you think about that? I mean, do you mean how like the word queer and trans have been co-opted by people that aren't queer or trans? Because yeah, like we're very aware, except 
with lesbians, that's not what's happening. Because we can't co-opt the definition of said word if we are that word. Like if we are a lesbian. Literally the dumbest shit I've ever heard. And what are you guys talking about? You are the ones that constantly change the words and definitions of words. Bonus hole for vagina, chest feeders for boobs, birthing persons for mothers, gender affirming words. As a trans lesbian, it would be great if we could unite and adopt consistent gender affirming language. For example, I personally refer to my testicles as my hanging ovaries and my genitalia as my p Pig pagina, my pagina. I had to think about that. Pagina? No, it's, it's, it's pagina. And trust me, the advocate did get a sh ton of pushback. They got a lot of sh for that article. Here are some of the tweets. The word lesbian has never been problematic. It is problematic when men claim it for their own. But you all love the new age homophobia. Keep up your heterosexual advocacy. Men can't be lesbians. It's really sad that the advocate has turned into such a homophobic rag mag. You realize a large percentage of the women you label TERFs are lesbians, right? Like actual lesbians. I mean, not the predatory men you stand for. Reclaiming lesbian, colon, why the label isn't problematic and the straight men can't have it. Considering I've been to about half of the bars listed on the Lesbian Bar Project's website and not to anybody's surprise, at least not to anybody who's been actually spending time in community with queer women, they're full of trans women. Again, back to this little article title. Has the word lesbian been co-opted by lesbians? Or have trans lesbians, most of them who aren't even actual trans women, by the way, infiltrated our spaces, making the majority of us very uncomfortable with their presence because they're not actual trans women and don't even try to look like women and act very male. Cause you know, it kind of sounds like the latter. When it comes to our spaces, how about you stay out of our spaces? Let us have our spaces and you can go find yours with your own pseudo-feminist group and you can join your some sort of strange gender essentialist supremacy group and just whine about how much you hate trans people. It would be much better for all of us if you did that. We don't hate trans women. We hate the fact you come all up in our shit completely rearrange it, speak for us, aren't looking out for our safety, and are actually completely homophobic when it comes to our sexual orientation. Of course, there are a ton of trans women, in this case, a straight one, who do understand lesbianism and what we are. I got to hang out with her a few weeks back and she showed me this horrific trans lesbian song that you saw at the very beginning of the video and she made me react to it. So here's a little bit of that. I love Why are trans women that date women or want to date lesbians always so much more unattractive conventionally? Compared, I'm so, like, sorry, not sorry. Compared to trans women that date men. Imagine putting in the effort to be taken seriously. Imagine, I mean. Set my soul on fire. Ugh. Ugh. Give me the what are the odds that this person has bottom surgery? I'll be honest, it's not giving dyke. No. <laughs> it's not. Somebody wrote, if trans AGP was a song. There it is. Oh, this one's good too. Honest questions. Have any of these dudes or transbians ever successfully scored an actual lesbian? Because we know they're not going for other transbian. Thanks. I hate it. Okay. When I realized I was a trans femme bottom lesbian, I feel like this is like a slam poetry opening. In 2019, when I turned 50, also an AGP thing, if you're an actual trans woman, you usually transition or know or come out as a trans woman at a very young age. These people that are AGPs, not trans women, are usually much older and they start like revealing their fetishes and stuff. When I turned 50, I had my first prostate check. Like many, I wasn't particularly excited about it. To be honest, I was hoping to have a male doctor, but instead I ended up with a female one. During the prostate exam, I experienced a surprising sensation. It brought to the surface all the moments in my life when I felt a connection to femininity. That's sexist, saying that femininity is just like you getting penetrated with a probe. <laughs> the car agrees. It made me understand why I've always connected so well with lesbians. I didn't want the exam to end as it was a unique experience for me. In 2021, I began hormone replacement therapy, which unfortunately my wife could not accept due to her transphobia. How about the fact that your wife is probably a straight woman and doesn't want to date either a man that is an AGP or a trans woman because she's straight. Somebody commented, butt stuff is so much fun, so I'm a transbian. Sure is a leap. Lesbian love is supposed to be very, very inclusive. Pause. No. The very definition of someone being monosexual, whether that is straight, gay, or lesbian, being attracted to one sex, is the fact that they are sexually exclusive. Pretty much the only rule about lesbian love is that it does not include cis men. So 
A common misconception about lesbians is that it's just woman on woman. But you can also be non-binary and be a lesbian. Sam Smith is non-binary. If Sam Smith only dated women, would Sam Smith be a lesbian? Because he's supposedly a non-man. What if Sam Smith and Jonathan Van Ness dated? They're both non-men. Would they be a lesbian couple? You see how f***ing dumb this is? Not everything needs to be inclusive. Love this post, by the way. Here's another one. I don't feel like a lesbian, probably, because you are not one. I'm not sure if it's because what I consider lesbianism to be is primarily tied to cis lesbianism, or because I genuinely have different life experiences from lesbians in general. But I feel like the discrimination I'm facing for being trans is too overwhelming to make me feel any lesbophobia, for example. Stop. When I'm dating, it's only bi or pan people who message me. That makes a lot of sense. Or fellow trans for trans people. That makes a lot of sense. When I'm outside with a girl, I feel afraid that I'm being perceived as straight, not gay. Well, if you look like a man, you will probably be perceived as straight. Comes with the territory, my boy. When I join lesbian spaces, I worry that I'll be told that I don't belong. In fact, I've been banned from online spaces due to cis lesbian user reports saying that I don't belong. Yeah, because you probably said some dumb ass or like came up in our spaces acting like, looking like a complete f dude. When I see pictures of lesbians, none of them look or sound like me or share the same genitals, except for when they are labeled trans lesbians first. Well, yeah, like that's who you are. So I identify with the trans part only for now. Thanks. That's literally all we ask for, pretty much. Identify as a trans woman who dates women. Personally, I don't care if somebody calls himself a trans lesbian because it's a very important descriptor for people to understand exactly where you're coming from. I'm being told by other lesbians that I can't belong because you don't! You don't! I, I don't, I really, like, what, like, what goes through these people's heads? Okay, I'm saving the worst for last, by the way. How do you incorporate your penis into lesbian sex without taking on the manly role. I've been dating this cis woman for a few months now. Sex-wise, we're taking things very slowly and haven't touched each other's genitals yet. I wonder why, because probably because that, that lesbian's like, yeah, you, maybe you're a little attractive, but like, you, you got a dick, bro. Like, you still got a dick. In my past relationships, I've always had the role of half man, half woman person in bed. I don't even know what that means. Don't get me wrong, I've, I don't have bottom dysphoria. I enjoy topping. Oh, what a f Surprise, that's probably why this lesbian that you're dating is questioning everything. It's possible that it can be different if you're dating a trans woman that doesn't even think about using that part of their body. But then you have somebody like this and you know that they don't have bottom dysphoria and you're like, bitch, I, I know you want to top me and I don't like dick. You see the disconnect? The dick connect? The dick, the dick. The dicks connect, the disconnect. But I enjoy topping, but it has always felt as if I had to give up a part of my womanhood when I penetrated my partners. Yeah, because... Let's give this person some advice in the comments. Leave it down below. Make sure you go and check out the new merch, Make Lesbians Women Again. I'll have it linked in the description below. And go and check out Tori. She's one of my favorite new trans women creators. She's fantastic. Also, if you're not following me on TikTok, go and do that. Link is also below. I will see you guys next Sunday with a brand new video. Until then, I love you. Love yourselves. Keep calling out the bullshit. Bye.